In Afghanistan, the lights go out for women. With a single decision, Afghanistan's Taliban rulers have crushed the dreams of a generation of women. The Islamist regime announced December 20 that women would be prohibited from attending universities, on top of earlier decrees banning girls from middle school and high school. They destroyed the only bridge that could connect me with my future, a Kabul University student told the BBC. When the Taliban first came to power in Afghanistan in 1996, it imposed a strict version of Islamic law, or Sharia, that kept women out of schools and workplaces and wrapped them in head-to-toe clothing. When the Taliban was ejected following the 9-11 attacks, the opening of university classrooms for girls and women was a singular achievement. It provided a window of opportunity for women such as Fazia Kufi, who, after 2001, was able to get a university degree in Pakistan and then became one of the most outspoken women in the Afghan parliament and a leading advocate for women's rights. Returning to power in August 2021 after the chaotic U.S. withdrawal, the Taliban promised to take a more moderate stance in running the country. It has not. Right after the announcement, young women saw university gates slammed shut and Taliban guards blocking the way. Many educated Afghans who had remained after the withdrawal and hoped for change are now likely to flee. The decision might lead to the proliferation of secret and forbidden study groups for women. The Minister of Higher Education, Nita Muhammad Nadim, claimed the ban was necessary to prevent the mixing of genders in universities and because he believed some subjects being taught violated the principles of Islam. This is balderdash. What really happened is that the hardliners among the Taliban, those with the harshest Pashtun village mores, have triumphed over more moderate voices and factions. Afghan women have periodically staged protests, but the Taliban has cracked down on such demonstrations in the past. The university ban feels like a point of no return. A university lecturer and Afghan activist, Homaira Kateri, told the BBC, Afghanistan is not a country for women but instead a cage for women. And the Taliban decision drew condemnation from majority Muslim Turkey and Saudi Arabia. Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlüt Kavusoglu said it was, neither Islamic nor humane, and added, what harm is there in women's education? Our religion, Islam, is not against education, on the contrary, it encourages education in science. On Saturday, the Taliban took another step to restrict women, banning them from working in non-governmental organizations, both domestic and foreign. In September, the United States announced that about $3.5 billion in previously frozen reserves of Afghanistan's central bank will be transferred to a new fund in Switzerland to benefit the Afghan people, while keeping it out of the reach of the Taliban. Afghanistan is still mired in an economic and humanitarian crisis, and those needs should be met, but the United States and its allies should make no mistake, the Taliban regime is sticking to the old, primitive approach to women, cruelly extinguishing their hopes and future.